until MDP. Um, and it actually wound up being the complete opposite for us that yeah. um, it didn't ruin our relationship. It really like reignited our relationship, I would say. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 410th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, we're continuing our uh, rags to riches series. All right, have another uh, uh, a good one here for you. We do. Uh, Matt, who do we have? We have Matt and Ashley Baldwin, okay. owners of Belmar Plumbing in Belmar, New Jersey. Plumbing power couple. They are a cool couple. Mm -hmm. So why don't you say we, we bring them on? Let's do it. All right, please help us welcome Matt and Ashley. All right, welcome, Matt and Ashley. Hey, it's great to have you on the program here. So glad you, you've taken the time to be with us. Yeah, oh, it's wow. great. It's great to be here. We're very honored that you guys asked us to be on. Oh, well, well thanks th so much. We're honored to have you on. Yeah, yes. I've been looking forward to speaking with you guys. You know, as we, we introduced you, you, these are a, a plumbing power couple that we're just extremely proud of mm -hmm. and just have a great story. And so thanks for taking the time to uh, you know, be on and, and share your story. And I know that they're going to drop some uh, huge nuggets of gold. I'm certain of just, it. Just knowing these guys. Yep. All right. So okay. let's get into it. Okay. So well, what, what I want to know starting out is, hey, guys, what was, um, you know, what was life like before MDP? Mm. Mm. Um, well, you want to tell about where you were working before? Yeah. So I come from a corporate background. So I had an entry level job. We had our first son when we were very young. So my main goal was just to get health insurance. So I took an entry level job at a very large healthcare company and worked my way up the corporate ladder over a number of years um, to a position that I was very happy in and I liked, but it was challenging and it was demanding. And I liked my team and I liked my job and I liked what I did, but it took, it took a lot um, of the day and of the time and our mental clarity. And, you know, he was just taking over the business at that point. And we weren't unhappy by any means. We were just young and stretched extremely thin, uh, making ends meet. Like we, we weren't doing poorly, but we were certainly just getting by. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I mean we were very much on autopilot, mm. right? Like yeah. two ships passing in the night. You know, yeah. I went to work very early. I came home very late. She worked and then picked up the kids and or kid and then two kids. Yeah. And um, now we have three. Um, but uh, it was very much like um, like roommates. You know? Yeah, we didn't. Towards the end, it's like, and we, we went out on dates and stuff, but yeah. it wasn't like, it wasn't like it is now. Yeah, you know? we were not not getting along but we weren't also like sharing hopes sharing dreams like thinking about the future we were just kind of like getting by to the next day and the next day looked like yesterday and then the next day so it wasn't bad but it wasn't wonderful right. either right. so so matt you had you already started belmar plumbing at this point or were you working for someone else uh no so i i had started um in 2019 um and she was she had like just gotten a promotion at her job yeah. um but she was constantly begging me for years and years and years can I just come work with you for the first like three years we were in business can I just come work really? for you work for you and I was like no 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 um so a little backstory I'm third generation my grandfather owned a business uh my father did um my cousin did and basically everybody that I've ever uh worked with or talk, spoken to or that owned a business don't work with your wife don't work with your wife. All you're going to talk about is the business. It's going to ruin your relationship. It's going to ruin your relationship. Yeah. So um, we really didn't ever talk about it. Like, yeah. We just didn't entertain it mm -hmm. until, uh, you know, until MDP. Um, and it actually wound up being the complete opposite for us that yeah. um, it didn't ruin our relationship. It really like reignited our relationship, I would say. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. So Matt, so your thing was, I don't want to work with um, my wife because everybody says don't work with your wife. Right. Correct. Why, Allison, did you want to work, or Ashley, I just did it, didn't I? You did. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have we have a Matt and and Ashley, and then we have a Tony and Allison. Yeah, right. And it trips me up every single time. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So why did you, so for three years, you're asking him, babe, I want, I want to work with you. Why, why did you want to work with him? I just didn't want to go to the office anymore. I didn't want to wake up at 7 a.m., get the kids dressed, 
for drop them off at daycare all day. I hated that every single time I just drop them off, sit in the office all day, have the recess lighting, have someone else tell me what to do. And like, I know the skill set that I have, and I knew that the skill set I had would be able to be applied to his business. Um, but he disagreed at the, at the time. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I just got tons because we're kind of going down a PPC route, which I think is great, which, which I love because this is yeah. we, we hear all the time that that you know I, I hear it from the guys all the time. Oh, I can't work with my wife. I can't work with my wife. Uh, quite frankly, I, I believe the same thing, you know. But once I got in and you know Laura came on board, I mean it was a whole nother. Not only the power that it gave to my my plumbing business. And, you know, we can have that kind of discussion, mm -hmm. but just for our relationship. So we get that. But what in your so, Matt, when when Ashley came on board, what was there difficulty in any kind of communication at first or anything? Did you have to overcome come anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been 18 months. We still have difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Men and women are just wired different. Right. Um, yes. You know, we we try and do our best. I try and do my best. Um, we've become big calendar people because. I uh, I will book something. I will plan something. I will do something, and then I just won't tell her. Um, I don't know why, but so I put it in the calendar, and then it's there, right? Um, and I probably should still tell her, but at least this is like my fallback. Like, hey, it's in there. Is it's it? in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not the best at communication. So yeah, when she first came on, there was a lot of like, I've been doing this my way for four years, and I'm just gonna keep doing this and this and this and this and this, and you could just do this. Um, and it's slowly over time, we've, we've changed that, but at the beginning, it was very difficult for me to let go of certain things. That's so good. Thanks for admitting that, uh, Matt, because that is a thing. That's definitely yes. a thing. Again, you had the business for three or four years before she came along. She's begging you to come, let me work for you. I can help. And then she comes along and you know, I mean, you know, your wife is smart and you know that she's capable, but it was still the thing of, well, this is all I've done it now for three or four years. Right. Um, so, so letting that go is a thing. And I know you're talking to a lot of, a lot of people. I, I want to go back a little bit. Um, what, what was the thing that might finally made you say, Matt, okay, yes, look, I, I want, I want to work with my wife. It's time to bring Ashley on. What was that pivotal moment? Um, it was an episode of potty talk. Um, you had like a women's master's edition. Um, and I don't even remember whose wife it was. Uh, oh, that's such a shame that I can't remember. Um, the gym teacher. You I'm had, sorry, you I had, don't remember. Oh, um, it, it, it was like oh, that would be W's. Though. Um, did, Lindsay, 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 um, Inception Plumbing. I'm thinking. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, you yeah. had like all the women on, and she was talking about how she had this career that she loved that she didn't want to go away from. She was like a soccer coach or something. Yes. Yeah. She really loved working with the girls. Um, and it kind of just like clicked like a light bulb in my head. Um, at that moment <laughs> on a Tuesday. Yeah, I came home. I'm like, you need to quit your job. She's like, what do you mean I need to come yeah. out? <laughs> I was like, no, but I've been listening to these podcasts and like, there's this thing and like, I'm going to sign up coaching and this and that, and uh, you're going to quit your job and everything's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> so once Matt makes a decision, it's by golly. <laughs> well, and then that's how it's done. So, so has it been great? <laughs> it was, it's been a long road to be great and it, yes. it absolutely is, but I don't think it was without like our growing pains through mm -hmm. the process. For sure. Well, definitely, because like Matt, you said, men and women are created and they're wired differently. There's no arguing. I mean, there's just, it's proof. I'm mean, also opposites attract, right? There's a reason that that's a saying. So if opposites attract, more than likely one of you is more of a visionary um, and more, um, um, not flighty, but just um, bigger picture. And the other one is more of get things done, right? And <laughs> there's all kinds of things that can happen with those two different personalities. So which, which, who's, which one's which? I'm a dreamer. Yeah. I'm a dreamer. I'm like, I'll sit in the backyard and we live like maybe like five miles away from an airport. And I'm just like, I want a private jet. And she's yeah. like, what do you need a private jet for? And then like, we start traveling a little more. She's like, we need a private jet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the Excel spreadsheet person. I'm like, we need to like write it down. It needs to be firm. It needs to be organized. So I'm very much the task oriented one. And that's what makes it work, guys. And, and again, hopefully, you know, the, the people that you're you're talking to, that our audience, um, are in that same situation. Don't don't be frustrated that you're different or that you're not seeing eye to eye. That's the strength of it. That's the power. That's the power that's, of it. And the, and the business needs exactly that. Mm -hmm. You know, the the business needs both both sides there, and to be able to to grow and and to do everything we want to do with our plumbing businesses, mm -hmm. um, it, it takes a lot of energy. And so, Matt, I I bet. When when Ashley came on board, 
I, I bet, you know, it's like you were, you were able to, you know, fight both sides of the war, right? At both fronts. Yeah, I mean, that's when the script really flipped. I mean, when she came on board, that's when we really started to skyrocket. Yep. In six months, I was out of the truck. Um, we had, you know, three trucks running. Um, and then, you know, six months later, it was, you know, eight trucks. Um, so it, that was really like, that's what flipped it. I mean, I had been trying to scale, um, but I just, I couldn't do it without her. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Field Pulse, a game-changing field management power tool that thousands of businesses just like yours are switching to. Field Pulse makes it easy to bring order to your daily chaos. No more struggling to keep track of your customers, jobs you got going on, or where your guys are at. Field Pulse is the perfect solution for helping you to organize your business, save time, and my favorite part, increase revenue. And with its mobile app, you can access Field Pulse's powerful features to run your business from literally anywhere in the world. Throw in QuickBooks integration, award-winning support, and plans starting at just $60 per user, it's simply a no-brainer. I love Field Pulse, and I know you will too. To learn more and to schedule a free live demo, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Field Pulse and see why plumbing pros everywhere are making the switch to Field Pulse. Man. Uh, and that, that's that strength right Matt, commercial for PPC. I, I love that you you said that and you know Matt Matt's a man's man okay and he gets things done you know he, he's probably the best plumber around all those kinds of things so to say that there's just, there's just a reality with with our businesses okay as guys we can't do everything it's a tough thing to do and and so we see it all the time it, we, we, what we call them PPCs, mm -hmm. you know, once, you know, the husband and, and the wife get involved in the business and the business shoots up. It's just because you know, you're on the same page. And actually you, you said it too, um, that you didn't dream together, right? You just were kind of ships passing in the night and there wasn't this, this um, togetherness of, of dreaming. Tell us, tell us more about that and how that's changed since you've started working together. Oh, I mean, like everything's changed. Like we started traveling, we started going on vacations. We started thinking about what's next for us. Like we always were just, we never saw each other long enough <laughs> to have those kinds of conversations. And then as the business got stronger and then we had a manager in place and we had different things going on for us that we could start to step away and really like make that time to dream together and you know, go take our children to new places and go on these trips and just see the world. And it was something that I never thought would have been possible. Like, I know he thought he wanted to do that. And I was like, you know, me, the Excel spreadsheet person was like, well, our budget won't allow that until X, Y, and Z happens. So, I mean, a huge just momentum shift, not only for us as a couple, but for our whole family. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. How do your how do your kids like it? Because it's different, right? Then because mom and dad working together, that is a, a not not a common thing. How how do your kids react to it? Do they like it? What do they what do they say about it? So our youngest is really spoiled. Um, he <laughs> doesn't know a life other than like, hey, yeah. mom dropped me off at school, dad picks me up from school, or dad drops me off, mom picks me up. Um, because we're there, we're we have the flexibility to be able to do those kinds of things. Whereas, like our first two, it was like get on the bus. Yeah, it was like take care. See you later. Yeah, um, <laughs> so he's super spoiled. But I mean, you know, it's been really cool. You know, in the last twelve months, I think we've traveled to eight different states with them. Um, so oh. yeah, yeah. Um, we're kind of just you know we're kind of really embracing like hey let's 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 experience things together, right? I, he, instead of buying a new xbox or a new tv or this or that like let's take a week let's go somewhere let's hit three states during that week you know um so that's been really cool yeah and on like a more local note too like matt started co coaching our oldest lacrosse team they get to like share that special bond and i get to help out with the cheer team and share that with my daughter so things that we just would have never been possible two years ago are now like the forefront of our lives uh we can i love that's what well, it's about. Again, I'm sorry, Henry. I know we both have thoughts, but everybody who starts their plumbing business is like, I want the freedom. I want freedom. I want freedom. But then you, they get in and like, crap, I have no, I have less freedom when I had a job. Right. I um, mean, so it's, it's working on those things so that you can have that freedom. And I love, but you have to embrace it too. Right. Cause you could, you know, just say, okay, it's all about the business and we've got to just 
kill it and work 70 hours. But instead, you guys are giving your kids experiences and family time. And you hear it all the time. Kids are there for a split second in your house and then they're gone. So to have those types of memories and those experiences. Great well, what I what I keyed in on was that you've been able to go to what, eight different states. You've been able, so Matt, you've been able to take care, you know, take time away from the business and it and it didn't fall apart. How 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 were you able to do that? Yeah, I mean, if you have the right management in place, for sure, uh, you can take as much time away. If, I mean, within reason, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's certain things that you still need to do. I had a lot of permits to stamp when we came back and <laughs> stuff like that. But it's we actually find that every time we go away, so it's busy. like a record week. It's it's, it's, <laughs> on, it's more money than yeah. <laughs> my managers yeah. text me somewhere halfway through the week. He's like, go on vacation more often. Everything is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We hear that all the time. Um, we hear that all the time. And it's the exact opposite of what you normally would think. You're like, okay, I'm going to take off for three or four days and the, the wheels are just going to come or off. I, I can't, I can't take off. Or, yeah, that's or a, I can't that's a trap. I, I got, I got to be here. Right. Or, or, you know, things just don't get done. Right. But you if know. you, once you start um, building them on um, the systems and putting them in place, and then you take some time off when you get back, realize, okay, here's some things that broke during yeah. that time. Right. And so we need to fix those holes and then go away again and see, see how it works. But I love that your manager's like, okay, just go away. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> so we got, so through, through our relationship here, you know, you, okay, we got, we got the, you know, the, the PPC, right. And working together. Money power couple. Okay. We're mm -hmm. talking about that. What was something, uh, you know, once you, you know, we're MDP, um, what, what was something that, uh, you know, uh, an aha moment or, you know, or an epiphany you had or something that you learned that made a change to the plumbing business itself? Um, I mean, mine's like super simple, um, but it's something that most people that come into the program struggle with. No nights, no weekends, no on call. Uh -huh. um, that was the game changer in being able to recruit people. Um, that was the game changer in our family life, being able to be stable, not having to worry about guys out there working on the weekend, having questions, um, employee retention. Right. Um, everybody wants to work here because they don't have to work at night. They don't have to work on holidays. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think that was the big one for me. Um, that was the real shift in my in my mind. Right. Making a decision as a CEO, not as a plumber. Like we can't <laughs> we need to do this. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that was a, that was a big shift for me uh, personally and professionally. Yeah. So, um, so oh, go no, go ahead, Ashley. And then I have a follow up question. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to add like how we view money. Like, um, I feel like we shortchanged ourselves for so many years, like just accepting the job that I had because it had good benefits, even though I wasn't bringing in a lot of money and what he was charging an hour was not nearly enough to sustain <laughs> our lives at all. So just that mental shift of like, we actually do provide a service and a value and we need to charge accordingly, um, was a huge momentum in growing our business. Love that. Yeah. Um, the question I have, okay, so Matt, you said you're third generation plumber, right? Yep. So here you are. And one of the things we teach in the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy is you don't have to work nights, weekends, on call, all of that, right? And for all the reasons that you said. So you're third generation plumber. What did your your family say when you said, my plumbers aren't going to work those hours? Um, I didn't ask them. I mean, honestly, you know, some people were like, what do you mean? You, what if someone calls with an emergency? It's like, call someone else. We have plenty of people calling us, um, which is, it's weird to get to that point. But um, once we got to that point, and then we also realized that like really 85 to 90% of the calls that come in on nights or weekends, they're going to wait until the next day or right on. Day for you to come. So that, that was a yeah. huge thing. Like just trust in it, trust in the process dive in with both feet. And then we found like, mm -hmm. Hey, we're really losing like five to 10% of the calls. And those aren't our ideal customer anyway. And I would like, when we'd push a toilet leak or a sink leak, like whatever it was, I'd be like, you would really leave in the middle of the day on a Saturday <laughs> to go fix that. And he's like, well, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. She didn't like, realize what we were leaving for. Right. Like yeah. you think emergency call. Right. And it's like, <laughs> Oh my God, someone's house is flooding. Right. But, uh, right. Then she starts working in the business. She's like, this is what they called about all those years. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. So after you got past the, you that's know, funny. we have to, there's, there's a sense, mm -hmm. well, that's just what we do. That's what plumbers do. Oh, we got to go out, you know, whenever they call and we got to hit them, you know, and be there. And, and then part of that, the next part of that thought is I'll lose money or I'll lose customers. 
-hmm. what what was what happened after you stopped doing that did you lose money or did you lose customers yeah no like i said i mean yeah we probably lost a couple of customers but those are not your ideal customers yeah, we anyway. only lost the customers we didn't want anymore yeah we find that really the people who demand that you're coming today are not the true emergencies and they're just the uh thorn in your side yeah yeah <laughs> in your side. we'll go with that one uh, <laughs> yeah. thank you <laughs> uh, but uh yeah. And then like people that actually have problems like, oh, hey, my basement's flooded and my water heater's leaking. It's like, okay, you know, we can get there on Monday. They're like, oh, thank God someone's coming. All right. See you Monday. Um, I because, love that. Those are the customers that you yeah, want. They trust, right? they trust us and they want us because they know we're going to do the job well and right. Mm -hmm. And and again, like you said, so your guys, all your, all your staff, right? No nice weekends on calls. I mean, that is that is the differentiator as far as hiring Yes. quality guys because right? on that we all you know it, you know we always hear i can't find guys I, i've heard that for 35 years by the way as long i mean it's been right you can't find guys because usually we're looking for guys right when we need guys and that's not the time to be looking for guys mm -hmm. but has that have you found offering that no nights and no weekends has that helped you you know you know being able to recruit and and even retain the guys yeah i mean really like the the last 14 months we went from three employees to eight. Mm -hmm. um, so now we don't have a problem finding people. I have uh, our recruiting system, actually, like I have like 42 people I could hire from right now if I really needed to. So, right. Recruit, recruit, recruit. That's amazing. Right. right? And and he, the key word in there was system. Yes. He's got a system in place. It's not like Richard said, all of a sudden we, we got so much work. I need a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Systems are in place. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. As we're getting close to wrapping things yes. up, what are some, there's nuggets of gold here. You already heard, by the way, you've already heard tons of nuggets of gold. Yep. All right. So well, can, can I say like, something too? And yeah. just, um, actually, just like um, it, uh, Lindsay, it's, it's Lindsay um, Ramsey, Inception Plumbing out of Missouri, just like she spoke to you, um, or really Matt, right, those, those few years ago, um, you're, you're talking to women now too, or you guys as a couple, you're talking to um to someone who's like, man, how do I give up the secure, I'm using air quotes, job and the the insurance and just the the normal, again, air quotes, way of life, right? So I want to encourage you guys, you guys are talking to those people. Um, like we said before we got started, you know, we're, we're talking to who you guys were a few years ago. So I just, I want to encourage you and also thank you that you know, you're sharing your story because just like Lindsay, um, affected you guys just a couple of years ago. That's the same thing's going to be happening as well. So it's a pay it forward kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. So in, in speaking to those people, what what advice you know, you know, picture them, you know, somebody or picture you guys three years ago. What advice do you have that that, that you could that you could give to to yourselves three years ago? Definitely, like believe in yourself. Believe in your in your business and trust the process. Like it's not going to go great all of the time, but like we talked about just the other day, like running into hard times, how much easier it is now. Like when we have a customer complaint, when we have somebody, you know, refusing to pay, like we don't even sweat it any longer. And that's because we've walked through it and we trust the process of, you know, dealing with that, having a new set of skills that we can deal with that. And then now it's like, no sweat off our back another day at the office <laughs> we're going to turn the phones on to our answering service and go about doing what we actually want to do with our lives love that love that what about you matt speaking of answering services if you're not using plumb line <laughs> your business is in trouble um explain what plumb line is yeah go ahead. yeah that's a that's a good hat that, that's a them, nugget that's a nugget of gold right there it's coming from plumb experience is right. a virtual they're not an answering service they are virtual csrs uh they use the same call script that mdp uses um and they book the job for today into your scheduling software plain and simple that is their job um and the beauty of it is you only pay if the, the, the call is booked um no more paying for minutes uh, which is that's killer, right? Like they both right. calls and then all of a sudden yeah. I owe them $500 and it's like, well, why'd you spend 15 minutes on the phone with them? Um, so right. plumb, I mean, they're just great. They're empathetic. Yeah. Um, everything that MDP preaches as far as booking the call, that's what they're about. Good tip. Okay. Well, thank you for that. You can go to yes. uh, the million dollar plumber.com forward, forward slash plumb line. line. All right. <laughs> Wasn't it, planning on doing that, but, but we'll, we'll go to the 
I kind of took your commercial away from you there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, you just made another commercial for us. Thank right. you so much. That was well, and, and we want as commercial. We want you to have and Matt. Thank you for mentioning it because that that's a power tool that, that you need in your business. And you know, if you're a, if a plumber yourself, in which we all started, right? We're in the truck, and if you're answering the phone, you're the wrong person to be answering the phone. You're losing business and money all at the same time. Um, and so they can answer the phone for you and even grow, you know, as you grow and get your own CSR, which I think you guys may have your own CSR or whatever during the day, during the day, but you know, calls always come in twos and threes. So while your CSR is on the phone, another call comes in, it can, it goes to plumb line. And then after hours, they, they're answering the phones 24 seven. So at All nights weekends. and the weekends, and it's nice to come in on Monday morning. You already got calls on the schedule. They, they called over the weekend. Okay, we're going to cut that as a commercial. Okay, yeah. Matt, do you have something else as far as what your um your yeah. golden? That was perfect though. But yeah. what else uh, you got? I tried, sorry, I went off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> what, what's well, plumb line. That, that, that was, yeah, that that was, was a, a major you know, advice to give to someone that was you through. You know, if you were speaking to yourself three years ago. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What's yeah? The other than plumb line, what's the what's the um, great advice that you would give to yourself three years ago? Yeah, not answering the phone was a good one. Um. My working nights and weekends. Um, <laughs> Those are hmm. all good. These are all good ones. Uh, yeah, they we, are. We already Wait. spoke about them. I'm just trying to think of something that we haven't spoken about yet. Um, what about branding? Because br we branding's huge. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a double edged sword, right? I mean, it's an expensive jump in with both feet, and we're going to really do this thing. Um, right. brand branding's super important. Um, really, I mean, I, I think my advice would be um embrace your better other as you call it right um you know don't get caught in that mentality of i'm a man and i'm going to do this on my own and i can wear all these hats and be i'm um, i'm so proud that i can't ask for help um it's going to be difficult um it's going to be you're going to learn a lot about yourself about your spouse or your partner or whatever um but really i mean that that's the best part about this right we 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 join I joined anyway, I joined MDP because of the freedom lifestyle, right? That's what I always wanted when I started a business. Um, and the way that you guys portrayed that freedom lifestyle. Um, and we were, we were selling ourselves short, um, both in business monetarily, but really as a couple, we were selling, selling ourselves short by living in these two different, we were on, you know, two highways side by side. Right. And we'd right. occasionally look over and wave at each other. Um, <laughs> But, you know, now we're in the driver's seat and the passenger seat on the same highway heading towards the same destination. Um, and I feel like we've never been closer than ever. We've never really had more little arguments yeah. or disagreements. <laughs> we um, fight more than ever, but we definitely <laughs> make up way more. Well, <laughs> well making, making up the most fun part. So. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we call it passionate discussions. <laughs> yes. And then, then, we, then we have passionate makeups. That's right. You know, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah. that's beautiful, Matt. Yeah. I just and, um, and I, our hearts are, of course, the million dollar plumber is about the business of plumbing. Absolutely, we right. teach the business of plumbing. But truly, our hearts are for for plumbing couples, plumbing power couples that work together. And just to hear you guys, you know, say that your your marriage has changed, that that you that is just totally different. Your family has changed. That's that's what um I love most of all. Yeah, and I love Matt. Matt, man, I just uh, I respect you as a brother. I just love that, uh, you know, you're being transparent and showing guys, you know, here's a guy, again, he's a man's man. He, he gets it done. Uh, he, he can work, you know, with anyone in French and out of the trench. Um, but, to, you know, to say, look, this has been great. Um, even through all this, you know, working with my wife and it's even better and having a life with my wife and my family and making money, you know, that that's, you know, that that's just, I'll just say that's sexy. You know, that is very sexy. Yeah, it is. That's right. So, Plumbing power couples are sexy. Yeah, they are. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, thank you so much for taking the time thank and spending this time with us and, and sharing your hearts and uh, dropping lots of nuggets of gold. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks again, guys. Take care. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. See you in Mexico. Yes. All right. <laughs> Wow, I love that. I know. I love that conversation that we I, had, and we we were not expecting to go that direction. No, we did kind of go off in a different direction yeah, than I expected. It, it got more personal, mm -hmm. you know, on on the idea of working together. Working together, which I which I'm glad we did. I I, am I, too. I I think that was a I'll say it. I think that was a God moment mm -hmm. um, because I hear it all the time, mm -hmm. um, you know, from from guys. You know, I I couldn't work with my wife, mm -hmm. and and you know, and 
and, and I hear that they're, they're struggling in their relationships right. and, and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. that they're, you know, I like, like how Matt said it, like two highways, you know, yeah. waving each other, but we're, we're in two different paths. Right. And, you know, it's not that they don't love each other. It's just, there's two different lives. Well, I think they explained it well. You're yeah. just on this, this hamster wheel, mm-hmm. you know, and then, and we see it all the time. And I'm glad, you know, again, we saw it with them and we, we, we see it with what we call plumbing power couples. Mm-hmm. You know, once the wife comes on board, all of a sudden the business takes off. Yeah. Cause you get two very vested people to make that thing work. Right. Well, right. That mm-hmm. there's that, you you both want it to work. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you're, she's by the way, guys, you know, when your wife comes on board, she's not an employee. She's your partner in the <laughs> business. I mean, this is the family business. That's right. And you learn to communicate. We talked about that, you know, you hear that, but yeah, you got, you both are invested. You both, you both have different um, skills mm-hmm. and, you know, and abilities, abilities yep. which I guess that's the friction, mm-hmm. all right? But the business <laughs> needs that. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so you're bringing, you know, both these different sets of skills to the business that the business needs. Mm-hmm. And then the, the energy factor yes. of being able to fight, you know, all these different battles you know, on, on both fronts. Together. You know, and all, right. Yes. It, it's just, it's an amazing, yeah. you know. So if, if, um, if you're a husband who's thinking, of, thinking about, my, I'd really kind of maybe want my wife to come along, you know, play this episode for her and just have a conversation about it and really listen to, to what they struggled with in the beginning of thinking they couldn't and, and what they're their transition was. So yeah, share it with, with your better other. All right. There okay. we go. Okay. okay. Hey, if you'd like to learn more mm-hmm. about the MDP and MTP system, some of the stuff that they talked about mm-hmm. um, here, here in this episode, mm-hmm. Hey, simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we can have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. That simply was have a conversation and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So, all right, there That's we go. Okay. okay. Hey, great episode here. We want to see you on the next one, okay? Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. Bye.